Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Raven Bloom. One of our top stories tonight. The U.S. Coast Guard is investigating what caused the freighter to take on water. The 689-foot bulk carrier, Mishapakotin, started taking on water in Lake Superior Saturday morning. The Coast Guard was contacted around 7 this morning with reports that the vessel was experiencing flooding while traveling southwest of Isle Royale. Officials say half of the 22-person crew has been removed from the vessel for safety. The ship has arrived in the nearby port of Thunder Bay, Ontario to complete inspections and repair. Damage to the freighter will be investigated. Flint students who will attend college in the fall can get some help with filling out their FAFSA form. On June 13th from 3 in the afternoon until 6, you can get your questions answered and complete a FAFSA application on the spot with one-on-one -on -one help from the experts. This event is being held at the City of Flint Service Center on Clio Road. June 30th is the deadline to complete the application. This year, the form has 36 questions, taking around 30 minutes to fill out. Bay City is looking for a new 7th Ward City Commissioner. The person appointed will hold office until the November elections, with their term ending on December 31st. Application packets can be picked up from the city manager's office or you can find the application online. You'll find the link in our hot link section. Applications are due by June 14th. The vacancy comes after former 7th Ward Commissioner Shelley Nitzvecki resigned, accusing the commission of not showing respect for a retired Bay City Fire Battalion chief who died earlier this year. Now here's Kyle Gillette with a look at your forecast. Thank you, Raven. As we go into the overnight hours, we see drying conditions across mid-Michigan, eventually leading to a decent Sunday that we still have the chance for rain. Here's a look at that seven-day forecast. Notice that we still have that 20% chance for Sunday. Now, most folks will be on the dry side, but we still have the opportunity for a few isolated showers to move through. We'll also have some wind on the way for tomorrow. By Monday and Tuesday, we've got more sunshine on the way. Temperatures in the 70s, pretty quiet days for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Wednesday, we likely find ourselves back around 80. And for Thursday and Friday, we'll also see those 80s return to the forecast with some chances for showers and storms, and that likely continues into the weekend as well. Remember to tune into WNEM TV5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.